Welcome to Backyard Plinking. My name is Charles. I'll be your host as we go through and explore everything BB and pellet related from air pistols to air rifles, targets, and ammo. I'm going to talk fast so y'all hang on. I know the first question is, something wrong with your calendar, Hillbilly? Today is Saturday. What happened to Friday? Well, funny story. I tied up with some stuff at work and caught in traffic by the time I got home. It gets dark early now. Time I got home, it was a little too late, which actually is a good thing. I will show you what our next one will be. I haven't really figured out what to make of this thing yet. We might have to do that together. Second thing, a lot of you guys have been putting in requests and in the, the comments, the video I did about the Long Rangers thing. Thank you very much. Keep them coming. In. Probably next next Friday, I'll run a total, <clears throat> tell you which the four that I'm going to take, that we're going to try to shoot 150 yards to hit the exploding golf ball target, submit the videos to um, Air Gun Depot, and try to have the little guy have something in there. The Patreon page for the Eckyard Plinking is still there. You guys don't panic. They've went through some management stuff until they can kind of get some stuff worked out. There for a while, I couldn't, I couldn't put anything on the Patreon page. My intention was to put special stuff in there, and then they started making some changes, and they did this and that and the other. It, it's crazy. You guys just hang on. Um, no danger about anything. It just kind of is what it is. Alright, so the reason for this video today is I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do some of the trick shots you guys have seen me do. Quote unquote trick shots. You know. Holidays are coming up, I'm sure maybe some of you guys are going somewhere, maybe you have family coming in, practice this stuff for a little bit, impress your friends. So, start with an easy one playing card. Now, I did several videos up until the point where I actually split one in half. We used low power stuff. Did that for a reason. Since then, some of the stuff I've shown you, there are much heavier grain pellets that you can use to be able to go through this. Now, most of the stuff that you'll find that has a rifle barrel they have a right hand twist so you you can get some tumbling but we're going to use that to our advantage so you line this thing up you know like I did before I have a little hobby vice it's like four bucks get it stable but once you line it up there's not a whole lot to look at what I did when uh, when I went to visit my buddy Rob and his son Ty and got Ty to split one the first thing I did is let him take several shots uh, at basically nothing. Then I simply took the card, kind of dog eared it just a little bit. Now he has a point of reference. He knows where the top of the card is. He can see where the bend is. Now you've got something to aim at. That's how he was able to pull it off. You can do the same thing. Back to my first statement. Right hand twist. If you line this thing up and you're straight on with it and there's not much to look at, if you'll take it and just kind of tweak it just a little bit, just a flash, a little bit on the uh, whatever side that has, you know, clubs or diamonds or spades or whatever because it's usually white that'll give you you know a glimpse try that a couple of times you'll notice that when you hit because of the right hand twist a lot of times it'll pull the uh, the pellet on through the card and keep going the way it needs to be going you'll be able to get the uh, the results you want it's going to take practice you ain't going to do it the first time if you do Congratulations. 
but now you have somewhere to start instead of just sticking it out there and going, well, good luck. Second part. I've done several videos where I went through and used a soda bottle, shot through the neck of it, hit the target or out the other side or whatever. looks pretty big there put it way back out there at 10 yards 5 yards 8 yards 6 it's a small target and if you're using one of the CO2 uh, BB pistols or or even an air rifle with an open sight no optic it's you know it can kind of disappear on you so if you take something like the TDP 45, fixed sights, no adjustments, front sight's pretty wide, it covers up a target pretty quick. Rear sight is fixed. Normally, white dot in between the rear sight, okay? That's how you're gonna line up. That's where your shot is going. This particular situation, you're trying to get into a small space like this without covering the space because you have to see the target instead of just lining up like you normally would make it shoot high the bottom of the front sight with the top of the rear sight just adjust your grip adjust your angle use the bead on the front sight somewhere along the bottom probably the the bottom quarter of what you're looking at that'll take your projectile in here and hit the target in the back even if you have something like the American Classic that has the bladed front sight same thing you're going to have to take whatever it is that you're going to try to do it with and practice with it several times and force yourself to shoot a little high once you figure out how it hits there then you can move on to the other side this is not magic geometry you know knowing what you're using You've also seen me shoot through a straw. Now, the ones from McDonald's are great. They can almost hold a 22 caliber. So, when I did it, I had a section. It was mounted, four and a half yards, something like that. Not a very large target. However, it will go straight through there you've seen it done it so that particular situation if you want to try to do something like that what you need to do is make sure and I would suggest an air rifle because you're going to have to get somewhere where you can prop it up and get it stable the second thing I'd really be looking for if I'm going to attempt something like that is make sure it has a fiber optic on the front now this is the little 1077 make sure it's got the fiber optic on the front this is important this fiber optic because it's a round sight that's on there we're still working under the same premise if we figure out how to pull it up and shoot a little high that means this is completely clear of the buckhorn all you can see is this sight. When this sight covers this straw, fire. Your targets will have to be adjusted in height. Okay, so if you, if I were to take this and do exactly what I just told you, five yards away, and the straw was mounted low, 
I'd hit it, but I'd tear it all to pieces. In that particular situation, what I'd have to do is adjust the angle of the target. So it's a downward flow. We're shooting high, pellets going down. You have to make some kind of amends. But this stuff is not, it's not rocket science. You guys can do it. it takes a little practice, a little direction. Pick it up and go from there. All right, and the last one is the older shoulder thing. Let me, our magazine, back in our TDP 45, which is the one I started with. Now, people who said that, well, it's, you know, there's somebody else and this and that and the other, my response to them was spatial orientation. Their response, what? Look, first things first, got to be safe. Know what's behind you, what's behind that, what's on the other side of it, how far is it, what is it? For God's sakes, don't ever try anything like this with a modern firearm, okay? That's just, well, population control is what it'll wind up being, but don't, don't. You're going to hurt yourself or somebody else, which is even worse. When I set up to do this, you saw me get a line of sight. Where I'm sitting right now, I have a object that I'm directly in line with. That target that is there, even though the wind's blowing it now, is directly in line with another point of origin right there. I know where I am. I know where it is. I set the target. I put my chair down. You saw me line up, line of sight, here to here. This is in line with the target, which is in line with the point of origin. All the way through, from there, down through the sight, to the target. It's not that hard. A little geometry, not that hard. Something else I want to point out. You see me do this stuff with these CO2 pistols. A lot of these things have something in common. Like this. Six hour. P320. P15B. Crossman. What are you talking about here, Benny? See the trigger guard? trigger guard and the list goes on the trail what about uh, when is this one power line 426 even though it's not as pronounced it's still there TDP 45 it's still there and if you go back through and, and look at a lot of these things the distance between the trigger and the guard is about the same. Now I have another reference point. Where I am, where the target is, my focal line, and this. Once this hits where the end of my collarbone is, it's flush it's flat in some cases if it's a little pointed it's the same thing I know exactly where this thing is pointed I know if it's left if it's right if it's up if it's down based on what kind of pressure I'm getting from that you guys can do the same thing it ain't magic practice yes it will take some practice. And remember too that you know if you're using the CO2 and stuff like that, this BBs aren't perfect. You're you're gonna have stuff that's gonna ramble, that's gonna wander. And the fact that the closer you get, you're gonna have to change. 
You know, some of the ones that I did were 10 yards out. The old fluorescent bulb that just had just the sodium powder in it, just, you know, those were 10 yards out. So that's, that's an adjustment that you make here. Not with yourself, not with the target. That's an adjustment that you make because you know what kind of pressure you have and where this thing is. That's an adjustment you make that way or that way. Practice it. Try it. You can do it. I assure you. <clears throat> like I said, with the holidays coming up, eh, impress your friends. Impress your family. Just be safe about it, please. If you have any questions about some of the stuff you've seen, put it in the comments. I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to try to start answering. I, I know it's been a little behind. It's been a little hectic at work uh, here lately. But I uh, uh, finally kind of got back on my horse, so to speak. So if you have some questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them the best that I can. Uh, I am going to... I've got some other quote-unquote trick shots um, that are... Be, it will be coming up after my impromptu trip that I have to take, which I think you guys will enjoy not only the long ranger stuff, but uh, be a couple of surprises when I get back. So, I hope you learned a little something. I hope you try some of this stuff. Be safe with it. Be conscientious about what you're aiming at. Give it a whirl. It's a challenge for yourself. And, uh, you know, once again, if you, once you pull it off, you'll you feel good. Till next time, my name is Charlotte. I'm